Hi, this is George Cow. In today's video, I want to talk with you about enrollment. But before I do that, I'm going to see if I can actually get uh, Buddy to come over here. Buddy is uh, my dog, and some of you requested to see him. So let's see if this works. Buddy, come here. And I think he's uh, coming around here. Buddy, come here. Okay. I just dropped the treat that I was going to give him. But at least you can see him. <laughs> he's a good boy sometimes. Okay, so I want to talk with you about enrollment. I better give him something, actually. I want to talk with you about enrollment. And enrollment is another word for sales or selling. There you go. Buddy got his treat. Um, and, but a lot of people don't like sales or selling. So I, I prefer to use the word enrollment to take away some of that fear. Because authentic enrollment is simply about finding the right match between your service and the person that you are wanting to serve. Um, the better the match is, the more it's a fit, the more aligned the service is with the person, the less selling you have to do, the less enrollment, the less marketing you've got to do. So uh, how do we find um, the right fit between your service and the person you're trying to reach? Well, first of all, you gotta ask yourself, what kind of person are you trying to reach? And one way to ask that is to look at the people you've already served have, that you've already given your service to in the past, whether it's existing clients, previous clients, or simply friends. Maybe it's friends of friends. But the people you've already given your service to, write down their names and look down that list and ask yourself, whom did I most enjoy serving? Okay, so that's again, step one, write down the list of the names of people you've served clients, previous clients, or simply friends, or simply people, if you're just starting out, people you would love to serve, people you actually know whom you would love to serve. Okay, write down their names. And then write down, of the people you wrote down, let's say you wrote down 20 people, what, which five of those would you most love to serve? Okay, would, or would you, did you most enjoy serving? And what problems did you most help them with? Okay, what problems did you most help them with? And I'm going to introduce some ideas to you here. You want to look at the problem you help them with the most, the symptoms of those problems or the events that triggered uh, you know, the, them needing to, to a solution, your solution, or the goal that they're yearning for that, uh, that, that maybe they told someone that they're wanting to achieve a particular goal. Okay, so let's kind of give some examples here. Let's say someone, let's say you are a, 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 a health coach who helps people with, um, deal with the uh, emotional side or the sort of the, the, the non-physical side of chronic illness. So um, a, an event would be that someone got a diagnosis from their doctor that they have a chronic illness and now they're worried oh, what, how is this going to affect my career, how do I live well with it and if you're someone who helps them with that, that's a symptom or event that is obvious, that's a trigger for your service. Um, let's say you are someone who helps people with their relationships. A symptom or event would be that they are complaining to their friends about their relationship and that's a symptom and so the question really is how can us your colleagues your friends your network how can we most easily refer you how do we know whom um, to refer you to so you've got to be clear with yourself you've got to write these things down symptom triggering symptom triggering event problem or goal okay and I welcome you to use the comment section of this video to help each other brainstorm what that is for you. So anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. This is just the beginning of the discussion on enrollment and let me know what other questions you have. All right. So see you in the next video.